I want to say hi. I used to come out here and I say hi, folks, and everybody yells out hi, Dennis. So let's get that out of the way first. Hi, folks. Hi. Woo, that sounds good. And then I'm going to ask you, how do you feel? And I want you to say, I feel good. How do you feel? I feel good. How do you feel? I feel good. Good, good. Wow. It's so, I'm really, we were away so long. It's so nice to be back here with you. Did you guys miss us as much as we missed you? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I tried to do this without you, and it sucks. I'll tell you, it's good to be back with you guys. It really is. Welcome aboard Oasis to the Seas. We came in bright and early this morning. We really were waiting for you all day. We came in bright and early this morning. We were alongside the pier about 6 a.m. this morning. By 9.30, we had disembarked 3,200 guests. We left the port tonight with well over 3,600, almost 3,700 of you. You guys are record and trendsetters. You are the most people we've had since we came back. We are excited about that. And I don't mind telling you, you guys, you're a good looking group. And young too. No, really, really. Last cruise, had the midnight buffet at 9.30. Ran out of prune just about halfway through the cruise. But they had a good time and you're gonna have a good time too. You are here to have fun, am I right? Yeah. Woo, that's what I want you to, and I like the people watch. Do you like the people watch? That's, I, I see people, I sometimes just sit down by the pizza place, but pizza's good, first of all. And uh, I, I like to sit down there and watch the people go by, and I watched you guys as you were coming on today, you are all excited. Woo, I'm going on a cruise, I'm going on a cruise, I'm going on a cruise. Very excited, and I heard you talking to each other. Oh, honey, I'm gonna be so good this cruise. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to eat salad. By about 1 o'clock, people walk by going, I'm going to have another slice of pizza. That's what I'm going to do. That's what it's all about. In fact, that's what we want you to do this cruise. We want you to eat. Yes, it is our motto that we want you to gain 7 to 10 pounds in the next 7 days. That's right. You come out as guests, you go off, cargo. End of the cruise, we just roll you down the gang away. But we want you to have fun. So, you know what, go ahead and eat. Eat all you want, it's free. It's my favorite F word, free. I love it. Get involved, have fun. Every night, great shows. We're gonna have great shows for you every night, all kinds of activities. We're going to some sensational ports of call. Who's excited? Tomorrow we're going to the perfect day in Coco Cay. I am so, I love Coco Cay. You're gonna love it too. Gonna to be a gorgeous day tomorrow. We're expecting 86 degrees tomorrow. It'll be 43 in the morning, 43 in the afternoon, but. No, I'm joking. We are really expecting a nice day. Going to be great, sunny, going to get a nice tan. Who wants to get a tan? Yeah. Me too, me too. And I know you're all going to the beach tomorrow, so I'm going to get a little bit of business right out of the way. This is true. Now, everybody always asks me after the show, because they, they're going, some of them are going home and they want to make sure they got their towel for tomorrow. Well, you don't have to go search for the towels anymore. We literally have put a towel for you in your stateroom. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, now, here's what you want to do. You want to take the towels, they're big blue towels, take them with you to the beach tomorrow. Now, I know some of you are going to go in and out of the pool, you know, and enjoy that, and really do take advantage of that. And what we've got is, they, they got towel locations on the island. But you, you can't get a fresh towel. Here's what you do. You, it's called a towel exchange. Yeah, very cool. I know, big word. And uh, you take your used towel, give them that, and then they give you another towel. They won't give you one unless you give them one. And there's, there's a reason for that, because... Each one of these towels that we give out to you, it, it, if you forget to bring it back, so don't do this, it's a $25 surcharge. I know, and they only cost $7.99, so I don't get it. But do make sure you bring those towels back with you. 
And every night, I promise you, every night we're going to have fun, great shows, including tonight. I'm very excited about tonight's show. Are you ready for a great show? Yeah. Oh, you don't sound sure. Are you ready for a great show? Because yeah. I've got an absolutely amazing show for you. I am going to bring out a dear friend of mine who I've had the pleasure of working with many, many times. And every time I bring him out here, I never know what he's going to do, but it's always wild, it's always crazy, it's always lots of fun. So hold on to your seats and get ready for the action comedy of Rick. No! Hello! Hello! This guy is one of the best in the business. He's going to keep you entertained your entire cruise. He's been doing it for like 30 years because I've known him that long. So do me a favor and keep that round of applause going for my friend, the cruise director, Mr. Dennis Charles. Thank you, Dennis. Good to be back, buddy. Well, first and foremost, I would like to thank the Florida State Work Release Program for allowing me to be here tonight. Woo! It's nice to be out. Are you guys happy to be out? I have a little confession for you. It was 20 months ago that I performed on my last cruise ship. Wow. wow, exactly. It was March of 2020 when it all broke out. You know, people were in trouble everywhere, right? No doubt about it. I heard about it. I'm a simple guy, I was working on the cruise ship. Coronavirus this, coronavirus that. So I ran down to the crew bar, got a case of corona, sack of limes, went back to my room, down it, boom, one after the other. Boom, 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 one after another. And not only was I immune to the coronavirus, but I cured my Lyme disease. <laughs> ah! All right, now we're dealing with the Delta variant, which is, oh my goodness, by name association has negatively affected Delta Airlines. I read about this, yes. So apparently, beginning next Monday, we're supposed to call it the Jet Blue variant. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I'm entertaining you one at a time. <laughs> it's hard to see, but there's not many people here, is it? Whoa, this is like a fam family gathering or something here, right? Wow, small but mighty and mighty small at the same time. All right, welcome, welcome you guys. Good to see you. Thanks for coming out. I was telling you guys, 20 months since I worked on a cruise ship, so I'm happy to have you, man. Thank you so much. I bet you guys are happy to be here, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Excuse me, you guys. When everyone else came in, they stood and told a little bit about themselves. <laughs> well, my wife worked on cruise ships too, and that was a long time to be off, just to stay acclimated. Every single family crisis, we would have it announced with seven short blasts followed by one long blast of the house whistle. Yes. And then we would get together at the mustard station, because we didn't have a mustard, but we had mustard and we had ketchup and we would eat some hot dogs and talk about the family price. And then at the end of the week, we would write down everything we liked about the voyage together. And that's how we dealt with it. Now I gotta ask you, be honest with me, are you ready for some fun? Yeah. You came to the right place. People wonder, what the heck is this action comedy? Because I call it action comedy. If something's happening out here, there's your action. If you're laughing, there's your comedy. <laughs> now, in order to do this action comedy performance, I have to get rid of the jacket. Pardon me, gotta do it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you, fellas. <laughs> We're gonna have fun. No action comedy performance would be complete without one of these. <laughs> Just measuring the stage. <laughs> Doesn't conjure up a lot of excitement, does it? You know, it's like walking on stage with bagpipes or an accordion. Ooh. <sighs> the broken bicycle. All wheel drive. I'm gonna do a quick impersonation for you. Unicycling if you are the captain. Thank you for that 
sleepy response. <laughs> now, not this production manager, a different production manager, a friend of mine was from Bulgaria. He says to me one day, he goes, Rick, in the Bulgaria, we all ride the unicycle. We're very good on the unicycle. Like, really? Everyone? He said, yes, everyone. Would you like me to show you? I said, yes, please, show me. He said, give me unicycle. So I give him unicycle, and he puts it there like that, because that's where it goes. And he says, unicycling into Bulgaria. <laughs> Thank you individually. <laughs> Still entertaining you one at a time. With an occasional none at a time. Now in the unicycling industry, which is a very small industry, this next trick is called the kick up. You kick it up, just like that. But after having performed this trick for several years, I've renamed this one the Nutcracker. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I have a concerned person giving me an oh no. <laughs> it's great. It's like working for a dozen people. <laughs> what a nice, quiet place to come and rehearse my show this evening. What a great idea. You felt the shit moving a lot, haven't you? Imagine how excited the balancing act feels right now. It's been 20 months, let's put them out there now. Woo! That's okay. I can do it. Ah, oh, there you go! Come on! He still got it 20 months from Pelica. Woo! I, I, I'm better than I thought I was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Social distance block off here, right? It's just people want to stay away from the guy on the unicycle. Here we go. Wow. Wow. It's like a segue for coordinated people. Here we go. Unicycling in England. <laughs> they can't all be as funny as Bulgaria. <laughs> Unicycling in Texas! Cycling in Baltimore when you're feeling cool. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, that's my hood right there. I grew up in the hood. Thank you so much. Feeling good in the hood. Here goes one for the full paying passengers. <laughs> there are none. I'll do it for you guys. Unicycling if you're darn good. Look at that, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, I am good. Now when I have a long show, like I do now, I do extra laps between jokes. <laughs> it feels like it needs music. Let's try it. So keep going. 35 more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> now, 
And if you weren't laughing at that, you'll be laughing tonight when you go back to your room and you're in the mirror going. <laughs> I know you. All right. Unicycling if you've been drinking. <laughs> medallion. <laughs> Badass medallion. Young people, please explain it to the elderly people around you. Thank you. Unicycling in Australia. <laughs> I'm so funny. in the audience. Anyone from New York? Yeah. There's always someone from New York in the audience. There could be no people in here at all. I'll say, is anyone from New York? A little mouse will come out. <laughs> all right. Unicycling in New York. Hey, I'm unicycling. Do another one for the full paying guests, which there are not. Unicycling with one foot. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, man. That, oh, I threw that one in at no extra charge to you. That was unicycling if you suck. All right, let's try it again. One foot. Not everything works every time. Getting technical. Unicycling if you do not have a unicycle. <laughs> there, yeah, thanks. There's, all, there's also people out there going, thank goodness we didn't have to pay for tonight's chat. <laughs> Did everyone realize you don't have to pay anything for any of these shows? They're all free. And by the amount of people here tonight, apparently, we're charging way too much for our free show. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's keep it going. All right. Oh, I've got something real exciting for you guys now. All right. Does anyone recognize this? Oh, you think you, you do? You recognize this? I don't know. Let's see. Somebody said jump rope. I'll, I'll put it on. You see this a little bit better. You might recognize it better. A lady was wearing this at the pool this afternoon. Do you recognize it now? I said, lady, I love your bathing suit. She said, thank you. It comes from the Victoria Secrets No More Secrets collection. I said, well, I would love to use it in the show. She said, here you go. And you couldn't even tell it was gone. And I said, thank you very much. So I, I figured uh, after the show, I'll have these for sale right up at the top of the steps for the ladies and for the men. I have one called the surprise package I'll have for sale for you. Let's cover the bases for everyone. That's my favorite new joke, everybody. 20 months ago, you wouldn't have heard that one. Was that good or what? Uh, now, uh, 
People have referred to these things I do as amazing, incredible, unbelievable. But now that I'm 58 years old, they just refer to it as a miracle, ladies and gentlemen. Everything you see here tonight is a miracle. I'm getting a gift from the audience. Here we go. For my latest miracle, I'm going to do unicycling if you are superhuman. All right, come on! Yeah! Unbelievable! Cycling if you were born on what? first came in because I didn't want you to leave <laughs> but I use you from time to time I use volunteers during these times we're not allowed to use any volunteers I know Bummer. but in the meantime I'll, I'll fit these things in and I might get a chance to use a couple backstage people in your position okay instead of you doing it they'll do it now this is the ladder most amazingly Especially in the first show when it was moving a whole lot. I climb it, get to the top, and then juggle when I'm up there. Now, what's really amazing is that this is my stepladder. I never met my real ladder. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so funny. <laughs> I do this for the captain. You see, Dennis told me the captain is going around the cruise ship and he's writing down all the things he's not impressed with. So I'm desperately trying to stay off of the captain's ship list. <laughs> oh, wow, I got these guys to moan. Moaning feels good. If I could get you to moan some more, We'll have to have a cigarette after the show. <laughs> I like you. Oh, oh, tell me. All right, check it out, folks. Here we go. No hands. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now you know why there's no one in the first two rows. <laughs> It is freaking me out because there's nothing soft to land on. There it is! Ah! Most unbelievable, isn't it? All right. Now I need my guy from backstage. Uh, uh, Javi, would you come out here, please, and bring me some knives? Let's make this exciting. I said I'd juggle when I'm up here. I'm not just going to juggle regular. Let's juggle some machetes, for goodness sake. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is our friend Javi. Javi comes from you, from Montenegro, everyone. Please make him feel good all the way from Montenegro. <laughs> all right, Javi from Montenegro. As you can see, he's working hard, helping out backstage and working the drive through at the same time. <laughs> I don't want to keep him too long. Someone might be ordering a Happy Meal right now. All right, Javi, will you hand me machete number one, please? That number one. They're not numbered. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for playing alone, Javi. All right. Here we go. Whoa, all right. The real. All right, Javi, will you hand me number two, please? Thank you so much. Thank you. Yep, yep, real. Ooh. <laughs> I 
Are you concerned? <laughs> Don't be concerned. It's only me that will die. A little bit slippery. You been eating fries or are you just carrying lube around with you there, hobby? <laughs> uh, it's lube them up for funny guy. Yeah. All right, Javi, you want to throw that last one? <laughs> yeah, of course, never mind, please. Hand it to me, Javi. We don't want any, any accidents. Thank you so much. Please make them feel good, everybody, all the way from my Mr. Javi, thank you. Thank you. Now, I uh, call this my throwback routine. I started my career as a street performer at the Inner Harbor in Baltimore and South Street Seaport up in New York City. Yeah. yeah. And what we would do as street performers is something very big and visual like this. Get some juggling going and get the people around us to make some noise. People would hear the noise, turn around, see me on the ladder. They'd move in tight for the show. Then I'd have my friends go around and pickpocket. <laughs> Yeah, they're actually working this crowd right now. And not enough people came. We're not going to be able to eat tonight. We didn't make enough money. So I'm going to do a little juggling, at least 10 throws out of the right hand. At this point, I need you guys to make unbelievable amounts of noise. Can you do that for me? And the rest of you, just rattle your jewelry. That'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a, I'm just doing the family banquet. And Aunt Martha's having a good time. Here we go. Whoa! Ooh, that was real. <laughs> oh, I wish I was wearing my brown pants. <laughs> Little poop joke for you. <laughs> Get ready, it's not gonna last long. <laughs> I said that about my career. <laughs> Come on, hurry up, everybody! Yeah. Nice, good job, that's the way! Woo! Nice, thank you so much, one little problem, I can't stop! to our friend Aunt Martha up here in the front. <laughs> Did any children make it to my show tonight? Any kids? All right, toss them off the balcony. <laughs> kids, I gotta warn you, what you see me doing, I make it look easy, but it's very difficult, very dangerous. So never try it yourself, all right? <laughs> hey, but you can't have your daddy do it. <laughs> Daddy's love this. Look at up, paint the house, pull the ladder out, say, go, daddy, go! All right, here we go. You'll be amazed did this and did not kill myself and the old lady feels good because she's going, oh, there you go. All right, now I told you I use you guys from time to time. This is the big part of the show where I would get two people up. I would get two people with a little bit of coordination and then uh, I can't get you. So I have some people set up backstage. Don't worry, they haven't been practicing all day and all that. They're a little bit more like you guys. They're going to give it a go. I'm going to introduce to you our production manager, Nicole. Please make her feel good as Nicole is coming out here to play your role. That's Nicole, everybody. 
<laughs> Hello, Nicole. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Oh, we're not throwing that now. Just do one of these. All right. And now we have someone I think everyone knows already. He's really funny and he's really cool. Mr. Dennis Charles. Dennis Charles, please come on out. Oh, this is nap time for Dennis normally. I had to wake him up out of his nap. I'm sorry, Dennis. I'm sorry about that. But he's, he's happy to help, and that's why he's protecting himself at the same time. As a matter of fact. Uh, let's see. Nicole, I want you to come over here and stand right about here, please. And face that direction. Wonderful. <clears throat> All righty. <laughs> why do I do it? And Dennis, you're in a pretty good spot. Turn and face that way, please. And what's going to happen is I'm going to do some juggling and going to throw something to you and have you throw it back to me. We're going to be like partners. This, I'm going to be that hard. Let's do it this way. I'm going to be throwing these. Boy, I know everyone in the audience is going, thank goodness I'm not up there doing this right now. All right. I'm going to throw one from my right hand to your left hand. Put it in your right hand. I'll yell, hop through it to my left hand. goes back in the pattern and the crowd goes nuts. Are you with me? <laughs> no. All right. Here we go. How about I start with Dennis, all right? Nicole, I know it's normally ladies first, but you know, we'll, we'll work with Dennis this time. Dennis, give me a little target with your left hand. There you go, that, down by the hip, but away from the family. <laughs> Dennis gives us the extended family. <laughs> oh yes, there he is, posing for his next rap album, ladies and gentlemen. Dennis Charles, rap and CD. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad these guys are here. Thank you so much. I love you so much. Thank you. You next time you're laughing really hard, just run around the room. I'll feel like a hit. <laughs> Everyone else is kind of sleeping. It's okay. It's, it was daylight savings time, right? We got this is like 11:30 for us now. This is not easy. All right, here we go. Dennis is tired of holding himself. So here we go, Dennis. I'm going to throw you the white one. Do you see the white one? So. All right, I'll be more specific, Dennis. I'll throw you this one. All right. Keep an eye on the one I just showed you. Don't lose track of it. Keep your eyes on it. Here we go. Coming to you now. <laughs> Poor Hobby was backstage. Ah! And Dennis. <laughs> All righty, Dennis, coming to you now. Here we go. Catch. Good job, there you go, very good. He's like an old pro. All right, from your right to my left, I'll give you a hint. Okay. <laughs> That'll get you picked up in Miami here. <laughs> I pay him extra if he laughs uncontrollably. That's what it is. <laughs> How much? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, there, I, I can tell you were nice and clear. It wasn't like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. All right. She's embarrassed. She's embarrassed. There you go. I'm sorry, miss. He, he can be embarrassing sometimes. Look, she just put her mask over her eyes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness. Look, buddy, I, I would chat, but I'm busy right now. Okay, sorry. It, it, it was the Rick Novell show. Suddenly, it was the Dr. Phil hour. And these two are a little in big trouble now. Here we go, Dennis. Hop. Oh, good. Wow. Nice. All right. Very good. Oh, this is exciting. Nicole, are you ready? Nicole is deep in the middle of prayer. <laughs> Please, dear God, get rid of this sweaty dude. Oh, my goodness. I forgot to tell him that Dennis and I go back to when I had really long hair. You remember those days? I was the hippie, yes. And, and this is kind of new to me. Do, do you like the hair, dude? Thank you. It kind of works. I mean, I, I put a little bit of Viagra in my Rogaine. <laughs> it gives you that lift. <laughs> All righty, I'm sorry, Nicole. Give me that target with your left hand. Put it right there in front of Dennis's family, right? 
That's his next rap album. <laughs> All righty, Nicole, here we go. Coming to you, catch. Yes, good job, very good. Look at that. All righty, from your left, your right, your right, your right to my left. Here we go. Up. No, no, no. Wow. Oh, yes, there you go. She gave me the tomahawk throw. Very good. Let's see if Dennis can work this out a little faster. We're going to get this going nice and fast. You up. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that was good. Nicole, let's see what you got. Yes, good. Up. Wait. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, underhanded would be nice, Nicole. Yes, underhanded. All right, here we go. Up. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, don't you see that? <laughs> All right, Dennis, show her how it's done. Up. All right, Nicole, come on. Yay. Oh, sorry about that. Hit you right in the hand. <laughs> Here we go. Up. <laughs> She's like, Whoa! Faster. Up. All right, Nicole. Oh. She's so fast. Up. Okay. Tennis. Boom. Up. <laughs> Rub my belly. I'm a good dog. Rub my belly. Just a little belly rub. I'm a good dog. A little bit more. A little bit more. Come on. Dennis, rub my belly. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I am a rock. Thank you. Easy. Oh, a little lower. A little lower. So when I say Dennis, one will be coming to you, you throw me the one you have. When I say Nicole, run! <laughs> Please run, sir. Here we go. Nicole! <laughs> Funny, I, and, and that was good spatial awareness. I heard just the faint little, little awareness saying shit. It sounded like shit. It was a little of a <laughs> And it's good to always remind ourselves where we are. So occasionally you will want to say shit. Very good. Very good, Nicole. You are on a ship. Very good. Here we go. Nicole! Oh, good. Yes. Dennis! 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 Whoa, yeah. Nicole! Whoa! Ninja! Nicole! Whoa! Dennis! Nicole! Dennis! Hey, Dennis! Yeah! Hold on. Are you ready for the finale? All right, get back in your places. You worked up to the big stuff. Nicole! Dennis! Let's hear it for him 
one more time, everybody. The champion. All right, now you're gonna love this. I'm approaching the end of my show. I know that makes you sad. But we do have rest and other things we've gotta do. But thanks for playing with me. After 20 months, what a gift to have you guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, now you're gonna love this. I'm whipping out the big one. And don't worry, I'm not whipping out any big ones there. All right, here we go. It's this one. Whoa. Is that a big one or what? <laughs> Got it for half off. All right, we'll try it again. I'm whipping up the big one. Whoa. Is that a big one or what? Got it for half off. <laughs> that was so spontaneous. All right, here we go, man. This is the tough stuff. This is where I earn my money right here. The most difficult thing about the big one is getting my bottom to the top of the head. Bottom to the top of the head. Now, coincidentally, my wife always told me I had my head in my bottom. <laughs> You've heard it before, haven't you, buddy? Yes, yes, that's what they say. And now you get to see how it gets there. Now, my brother, he used to like to try everything that his big brother did, and he coined the phrase suicidal after falling down time and time again. So I am about to mount the suicide. Just think of it that way. It's a frightening piece of equipment here. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Always make sure my Easter eggs are in the right place. <laughs> I don't want them to look like a couple of old antique coins in a little canvas bag. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, okay, I got it, I got it. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, thank you! No problem! Woo! I think I found Waldo! I think I'm the only act that can work you guys up into a calm silence. <laughs> like a big old naked guy in the shower. Hey baby, it's over there saying poop. Or like a wedding in Game of Thrones. Ooh. Yeah, they say laughter's contagious, but you guys aren't catching any of it, are you? It's all that hand sanitizer you've been using. You become immune to laughter. Oh, this is the best thing about performing on a cruise ship. Even when my jokes are bad, you guys are still on board. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Just thank you individually. Thank you so much. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, you might think I'm out of control. <laughs> Not today, baby. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I'll give you a reason to applaud. There you go, right there, everybody. Come on. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. Now, you got to realize when I was off, I would practice, try to stay in shape. I never had an audience. I had my dog. And the dog looked at me pretty much the way you guys have been looking at me. <laughs> Until I figured out the secret. I started rubbing down all my equipment in bacon. Yeah, I notice I got your attention now, don't I? All of a sudden you're like, ooh, he rubs it in bacon. I want some of that. So, you know, I am a little bit more used to performing for a dog than you guys. It's nice to have people, thank you. Javi, will you bring me some more knives? These people need something dangerous to wake them up. Here comes Javi. Look how fast Javi moves, everybody. Javi's like a sprinter in Montenegro. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. The 
Let's hear it for Javi, everybody. Make them feel good. I was hugging me some Javi. All right, I'm going to get everybody to help this time. I know you can't come up on stage, but I'm going to give you a reason to participate. So every single time I throw a machete under the leg, I know. Give me an ooh. Every time I throw one behind the back, I know. Give me an ah. It'll be like, ooh, ah, chicky, chicky, cha. Right. <laughs> now I got to ask you guys, did you have fun with me tonight, everybody? Come on. Woo! You're the best. And I think we can all agree, laughter's good medicine, isn't it? Yeah. Makes you feel good. And I have one more thing other than laughter I'd like to leave you with, and it's inspiration. Best thing about it is it's a true story, and it's a love story. I was 12 years old when my grandmother bought me a unicycle for Christmas. Little did she know, and we hope and pray she does, but that unicycle's taken me all around the world, bringing fun, laughter, and excitement to people. It actually brings me here to you guys tonight. Oh, thank you, thank you. I tell you for two reasons. One, I never want you to underestimate the power of an act of love. And two, because I love my job so much, I always thank Grandma, but I thank you guys for letting me entertain you. It's my pleasure, every show. I'm so happy to be back. Thank you, everybody. Love you. Ah. All right, you can open up the curtain now. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us from the orchestra is the very talented Mr. Elliot. Now you're going to have to make sure you come to all the shows. Check out Elliot. There's going to be Earl Turner later in the week. Wow! That's big budget, high quality entertainment. And tonight you had me. You get to see where Royal Caribbean is saving their money. But when you catch all the shows and how talented these guys are, and especially Elliot, you're going to love them all. All right, everybody? So here we go. Remember the Yules and us. Oh, one more thing. i got to find out. I've been inspired by teachers. Any teachers in the audience tonight? I've got to thank you guys. Any teachers at all? Right here, I've got to thank you. I, I, honestly, because two of my high school teachers are the reason I'm even working on cruise ships. They said, Rick, you have got to get a job on a cruise ship because your grades have always been sea level. <laughs> there you go. Look, that joke was good enough to kick two people out right now. Look at that. <laughs> I'm getting the hell out of here. He just did the sea level joke. That's about enough for me. It makes me hungry for some pizza, though. We'll stop at the pizzeria. All right. Thanks, everybody. Here we go. Elliot, let's kick it, buddy. Under the leg! Did you see it? I'll slow down for you. Under the leg! You're telling me! Behind the back. Now the most difficult when underlaid behind the back is the same exact time. your last meal you must be starving by now you might want to head right out to the pizza it's waiting for you right now a nice hot slice of pizza and it is free it's my favorite f word anyway 
We're going to let you all go very quickly here. We're going to dismiss you. We're going to take all the people in the center section on four. All the people in the center section on four. That's, yeah, all eight of you. That's right. There you go. Four are going that way. Four are going that way. We're going to take everybody on the bottom side on this side. Everybody on the bottom side on that side. You can rise up. Make sure you put your mask on before you head out tonight as you're heading out.